Hi and welcome to day two of my week in the life of my fly lady routines. So yeah, today is day two. I'm just gonna get straight into it because I did an introduction to what these videos are gonna look like yesterday. So if you haven't watched day one, I will leave it in the description box so you can go back and watch it. But today I'm gonna be showing you my morning routine and then I'm gonna be doing day two here in zone one, which is my kitchen. So I've already taken the boys to school and kindy and usually I will try and get some of my morning reset done while the boys are still here. But this morning I just left it because I figured that would be the easiest way to do it. And if I'm having a rough morning with them getting them ready, I do just ignore the housework kind of because I don't wanna get stressed out and I don't wanna be yelling and screaming at them because I'm stressed out about the house when they have to go to school in kindy, I don't want them to start their day like that. So some days I do just leave it until I get home and then it's, the house is quiet and it's really easy to do. And that's what I've done today. So while I haven't started my morning reset, I have done a couple other things on my list. One of them is exercise. I like to exercise for about 15 minutes. This doesn't always happen, um, but I'm trying to do my best. And today I just did it before I took the boys to school. So we left it a little bit earlier. We parked a little bit further away. We walked a little bit to school and then I walked a longer way back to my car. And I'm totally fine with that being my 15 minutes exercise. Other mornings I will use our bike downstairs. We have a spin bike and sometimes I go on that. Just depends on what I feel like doing. And yeah, I'm working harder on that one. That's why I added it to my morning routine because it's something I want to get better at. Also have planner on my morning routine list and I've already done that. So I do this when I'm sitting down and eating breakfast. I just open my planner even though I looked at it the night before which you will see in my nighttime routine video tomorrow. I just like to open it up and have a look. I leave little post-its or notes in there if the boys need to take something to school or I have an appointment or the list of things I want to do. I usually do that the night before. So I usually sit down and open my planner and just look through it while I'm having my breakfast. So two things are already off my list. And then there's one thing on my list that I don't need to do today and that is errands. So if I need to go to the grocery store or I need to pick something up in the city or anything like that, I like to do that in the morning because then I don't feel rushed in the afternoon before school and kindy pickup time. Yeah, today's just going to be a day at home so I don't have to worry about that. So now I'm going to move on to the morning reset and I've said this before but if you don't like the fly lady method that's fine but if you do want to take just one thing from it make it the reset. So I do a reset in the morning and at night and a really quick one before I pick up the boys but usually I'm at home by myself so there's nothing really to pick up because I've tidied as I've gone throughout the day. But yeah, morning reset, I go through every room and I just tidy everything. I'm not cleaning anything. I will wipe down the kitchen bench behind me. I do do a swish and swipe, which I will show uh, in this video. But yeah, I don't do any other deep cleaning or anything till I'm doing my zone cleaning. It's just tidying up and it's so nice having a house that's just tidy. And we're gonna have visitors or something that day. It makes it really nice. I don't have to worry that there's a week's worth of clutter sitting on the kitchen bench because every morning the house is tidy and then before I go to bed, I do the same thing. Again, you'll see that in tomorrow's video. But yeah, if you're just gonna take away one thing from these videos, make it a morning and afternoon reset because it's like life-changing for your house. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get started now. And I'll just give you a quick overview because I did do a nighttime reset last night. So my house was tidy last night and this is just four people getting ready. Uh, Tobias was playing with the toys up here and sometimes I make him tidy it up, sometimes I don't. Um, I'm happy tidying it up today. And then I have a mess from breakfast. I have unloaded the dishwasher but I need to tidy up the kitchen. I'm going to get started with this.
Okay, so that's it. My morning reset is all done and the house is tidy from top to bottom. It feels really good. I always feel like a tidy house is as good as like meditation or something. It just feels nice to be in it. So now that that's all done, the next thing I'm going to do on my list takes me about 30 seconds and that is a swish and swipe and I do this every day. All it is is giving the toilet a really quick clean. Again, not a super deep clean. You can do that when you're in the bathroom zone. Just a really quick wipe around with the brush and a wipe on the seat and then I also clean my mirror because I don't know how but when the boys brush their teeth they just get <laughs> toothpaste everywhere all over the mirror and I'm going to quickly wipe out the sink. Yeah, it's going to take about 30 seconds and my bathroom is going to look really nice and clean. Okay, and the next thing I'm going to do is put a load of washing on. So I do a load of washing every day. I try to get it done from start to finish, but occasionally if I have things that can't go in the dryer, I have them out on the clothes era overnight. But I do try with most things to get them washed and put away in the same day. And I alternate between towels and tea towels and kitchen cloths one day and clothes the next. Because we're trying to live more minimally, we don't have a lot of towels, so we rotate through them quite quickly. And we all have capture wardrobes, so we rotate through our clothes really quickly as well. So just keeping on top of the washing is really important and I find that doing a load of washing each day really helps me keep up with that. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to put the towels on and then see what's left on my list. And then the last thing on my morning routine list is dinner. So if I need to take something out of the fridge to defrost or I can prep anything, I will do it now. Tonight we're having uh, roast chicken and vegetables, so I can't really prep any of that right now. The meat is already defrosted. So I can just skip that one for today. So yeah, that is the end of my morning routine. This is when I would usually do errands if I had any. But today, since I don't, I'm going to skip right to my zone cleaning and quickly get that done. And then I can spend the rest of the day not worrying about housework until it's dinner time tonight. You're the rose in a garden And it shows if I'm And that's day two of my fly lady routine all done. I did used to do an afternoon routine, but it mainly revolved around doing things for the boys and to earn their screen time, they now do that themselves. So emptying their backpacks and putting them away and putting their lunchbox in the kitchen and things like that, they do that now. So I don't have that much of an afternoon routine. I do, uh, like I said, do a quick tidy up if I've made any mess um, before I pick the boys up so they come home to a nice tidy house. But apart from that, I don't really have an afternoon routine anymore. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed my second video in this series and I'll see you again for day three tomorrow.